I'm John. I'm Matt. I'm Ben. And we're public, and you are watching Celeb Secrets TV. This song has become something we never, ever thought it would become. Mm. In a really good way, obviously. Um, the, the TikTok world continues to, <laughs> to use it, and... Um, and now with like radio being really strong too, it's yeah, it's it's it sort of feels like a, a fantasy, you know. It's it's like wanting to hear your song on the radio and and on the internet now, and it's like it's it feels like it's everywhere. So what, what I never thought would happen was the global spread. So it's like you know we first started and we saw the TikTok trending in like the U.S. and and then you know fast forward until like now our biggest cities are in like Indonesia and Malaysia. Yeah. So it's so weird because now it's like we're making liners, like radio liners for these like countries we've never been to and like really excited to kind of get there at some point. I think there, I mean, I think there's a little bit, but not like, I think it's good pressure. I think it's just us wanting to make sure that we're putting out quality music. And especially now that we have more people paying attention to the music we put out, it's like, you know, you never want to disappoint anybody. But at the same time, like we have and have had a lot of music we've been sitting on for quite a while that we're yeah. still so excited about. Like yeah. we love, really love some of the unreleased material. And I think it's just about picking like, what is the, what's the, the first step? We have done a couple like co-writing things recently and they've gone really well. And um, I think that's pretty much what we're doing right when the tour ends is, is we're gonna write with some people here in New York. Um, and I, I know we have, I mean, there's a lot of anticipation for us about like what our next move is uh, because we've been pushing Makey Mind for so long. Um, I don't know, I think we're all just excited. Like I think we've we've gotten back into like the groove of wanting to write. Like right. I'm in the mood to write songs right now, which for a while it was like, eh, we'll just we'll just sit on Makey Mind, it's fine. Yeah, and it's a challenge too because we've got like this is the first time we've done co writes, which we everything up until this point has been like just us three. So it's like it's pushing us to kind of feel out the creativity with the producers, with the writers, to see like who has chemistry with who, um, and kind of get like get out of our comfort zone, which has been like a basement for like the longest time. So now it's like you know a week in New York, a week in LA, and we'll see like where that takes us, and it is exciting. This has been an exciting tour for us uh, because we released the music video and the single is being taken to radio. And so this is like our first time being out on the road while we have a song that's right. on the radio. And so it's yeah. the first time we've actually had crowds that we don't know personally singing our lyrics back to us because they just heard our song somewhere and like we didn't really do it directly. So I don't know, that's been really different for us, yeah. but like super, super cool. So the American Author guys, like we had encountered them a few times like early on, just kind of like chips in the night, like we opened for them, like didn't really talk to each other, but they, I would say they specifically on this tour just made us feel really welcome. And I don't know, like they like pass you in the hallway and they ask you how you're doing and they come in and check up on you. And so like, I don't know, as like the younger opening band, like they've specifically just made sure that we felt good the whole time. Oh, yeah. uh, Magic Giant. Uh, they're <laughs> probably crazier than we are, I think. They're like, all the sarcasm and goofiness we have, I feel like they just, we just get it right back at us, which is, which is, that's a lot. I mean, that's, yeah. we're not used to that. Um, but they're also awesome guys. They're just, yeah, I don't know. Everybody's just got good, good energy. Like everyone's excited to be doing what they're doing. I think that's, too. oh, true. We love the crew. Uh, the the lighting guys, the sound guys, like we've really gelled with those guys as well. I think I am walking away from this tour with like sort of a renewed sense of just gratitude for what we're doing, um, and excitement because, like I said, this is the first tour we've ever had like a song like on top 40, you know, and Hot AC, and it's like doing really cool stuff. And um, there's been a few moments on the tour I've just been like, man, like this is like we get to do this right now. That's crazy. So it sounds sounds kind of basic, but it's it w it's definitely been like a renewed feeling for me. Yeah, I got one. So this is the first tour we've had support from, like any support. So the label, thank you guys. Um, like we've had every tour that we've done so far has just been like tour. It's been like you know we play a day, we rest a day, we travel a day, whatever it is. And this tour is the first one where it's like you know we play a show and then we've got radio in the morning and then we've got to fly out to write some songs. So it seems like we're busier than ever, which is a great feeling. We've got the support that we need to continue to do that. I don't know if it's necessarily a goal, but I'd love to do a headline run again. Um, I think you know being a support act has been great to us because we've gotten in front of new audiences and uh, kind of stolen some people away from like the bigger audiences. Um, but to you know configure like an hour long set of our own music with our own fans there with like some production behind it maybe is super exciting for me yeah i would say that's a goal i feel like we're at a point now where i would like to see 
us us put on the show right. and see what we're made of in some some of our better markets and um because it's funny it's like as long as we've been playing we're still so used to like being the support act um right. and not not controlling the show so i would say this year for sure i want to start going overseas i want to start yeah the international part of of things that's just like bound to happen first band on the moon first band on the moon we'll do it. shooting for it 2020 